What's going on you guys? It's Mike Esfahani here with another easy tutorial on The Sound of Silence by Simon and Garfunkel. Of course, also covered very famously by the band Disturbed. So this is one of my favorite songs. It's not too hard to play. I'll have a link to the sheet music down below and I'll add some extra parts to it if you want to add a little bit of extra style. But if you have the sheet music, it'll be easier. Otherwise, I think you can uh, learn this without the need of it. I'll start with the tutorial and then I'll perform it for you at the end. Please make sure to hit that like button, subscribe. It really helps this channel. We're trying to grow here and get huge. So be one of the first. Okay, so first of all, how do we want to get our hands set up? Well, we want our hands set up like this. Our left hand finger number one should be on D. And our right hand finger number one should also be on D. This is our initial setup. And it starts with this little motif here. Play a D, come up to A, down to E, and back to A. And do this a few times. Do it four times. And then add the left hand D. And we go into the part where they sing. So, once again, Get you start off four times. One, two, three, four. Left hand. Okay, so what do we do there? So basically the melody is part of a D minor chord, like that. We have our finger one playing D twice, and then one and three playing D and F, that's your thumb and middle finger and then D and A, that's your thumb and fifth finger. And then into this E and G. And we'll essentially do this about uh, each short phrase at a time. Meanwhile, the left hand there plays a D and holds it. And then the bass line continues with finger two, that's your index finger, plays a C, and then C, G, C, C, G, C. Here's what it sounds like together. That's it. So, after the, he's gone from this, or after they've gone from this D minor passage, that's what we call this, you don't have to know that, but just for your information, it goes into a C major passage and then it remains in the C major passage. Move your right hand down so that your finger one, that's your thumb, is on C. And it's essentially the same motions. What I mean by the same motions is your finger one plays C three times, and then C and E twice. That's with fingers one and three, that's your thumb and third finger. Uh, that's your thumb and middle finger, I should say, <laughs> and then your thumb and pinky, one and five, play C and G. Meanwhile, your left hand plays the C, and then right hand fingers two and four play D and F. As you do that, your left hand goes D with finger one, moves down to A and back. So your left hand there is. So let's run through that whole thing together slowly. Really awesome right there. Now move your right hand up finger one Again, it's the same motion. Now we're starting on F. Three Fs, then F and A, then F and C at the same time. Open your hand up now, F and D. Back to F and C. So once again, those two part, uh, measures, that little section goes. What does your left hand do? 
plays a D and holds it for four counts. One, two, three, four. Expand out to this black key, B flat, and down to F. F again, up to C, and down to F. I don't. I know that doesn't sound like much of anything yet, but when you put it together, it sounds beautiful. Let's listen to that. Just like that. Essentially, it does the same thing again. And then this part, the rhythm gets a little shifty. But you play that F and then A with finger three to your left hand and B flat. B flat again, down to F. I'm not, get, I'm not gonna get too far ahead with the left hand because I wanna talk about the right hand now. Right hand one, open your hand up so that you play F and D at the same time. Then, big move, finger three on D. That's your middle finger. Up to E, reach in, one on B flat, five on F. Then, still on B flat, stay anchored there. You're gonna use one and four here, then one and three, and one and two. Let's take a look at that again. just like that. So, here's how they sound together. Now, the right hand's gonna do a big shift here. Finger three on B flat, five on D. And keep this as smooth as possible. A and C with two and four, that's your index and ring finger at the same time. And, one on F, two on A, two is already on A. So, a little awkward, a little weird. Make sure you don't do this. That's not a sign of a good musician. You wanna embrace the awkwardness, overcome it, and do it smoothly. At that moment, at that moment you play this, your left hand's gonna shift and put finger three, that's your middle finger, on F. Move F to E to D, D again up to E to F. So here's how that lines up. Sorry, let me do that again. And then here's that refrain. Finger two will move to F here, three Fs, then E and C at the same time. With one and five, that's your thumb and pinky. Put your second finger on E, up to F, down to D. So that right hand portion by itself is. And there you have it. Meanwhile, your left hand in that portion has F by itself, up to C, with finger one, that's your thumb. Move again, finger two on D. It just alternates like that between D and A. So here's how those uh, components work together. And then move two to E. So that's the whole first half of the song, and the second half is essentially the same thing with slightly different rhythm. Let's go through the second half. And I won't talk as much. We've already seen this. Shift that right hand down. This is all review. Shift the right hand up, one on F. You've seen all this already. A little different rhythm there. 
move the right hand up, three on D. Sorry, B flat here. <laughs> I can make mistakes too. Move your right hand down. And the refrain. Let me play that part again since I uh, had a little goof there. So this is the second time through. Move down. Move up one on F. B flat here. different rhythm. You can kind of stylize the rhythm if you wish. And then right hand moves down. And that's basically it. So again, it's essentially the same thing twice. However, uh, slightly ri different rhythm the second time. But the positions, the fingering, everything stays the same. Stick around for the performance in just a sec, and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. Thanks guys.